This video we're going to multiply and divide monomials and we'll do these two examples. So I'll we'll go walk through this one together. Then hopefully you can press pause and do this one by yourself. So let's start with the first example. There we go. So um, again probably the easiest thing would be to write this out and wherever you see a, an exponent just expand and, and write out the variables in a, write out that in expanded form so in other words you got negative 4 x and when you see y squared write y y and then we've got negative 8 and then when you see x squared might want to write x x and then there's one y here and then on the bottom 16 and then x squared it's going to be x x y squared is going to be y times y then we've got 2 x and then 5 y's and now we can cross cancel common factors right so x and x goes once here and here x and x goes once here and here oh well oh, sorry once here and once here my mistake and once here and once here uh, so I have to cross cancel with the top and bottom. So I've crossed off one, two, three x's on the top and one, two, three x's on the bottom, right? Okay, now we've got, now if you look at the y's, we've got one, two, three y's on the top, so I can cross off one, two, three y's on the bottom. So let's do that. Cross cancel this and this, this one and this one, and then one left. Cross cancel this y and this y, okay? So I've crossed off three x's on the top with three x's on the bottom, and I've cross cancelled three y's on the top with three y's on the bottom, right? And of course we can deal with the numbers as well. So um, let's see, eight goes into sixteen, so eight into eight goes one time, eight into sixteen goes twice, two into two goes one time, two into four goes two times. Right, and if I want to keep going, two into two goes once, and two into two goes once. So the numbers cross cancel, and notice that you've got a negative times a negative on the top that makes a positive. Okay, and then I, on the top I just have ones left: one, 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 one. Positive one on the top, and on the bottom it's a positive times a positive so a positive number on the bottom whole bunch of ones and how many y's one two three four y's so y to the power of four and again you might have multiplied the numbers out because negative four times eight would be positive thirty two and on the bottom sixteen times two would be positive thirty two and then these guys across cancel so that's another way of doing it so either way you should get one over y to the power of 4. Okay, so press pause and do this one yourself. Write it down. It's negative, sorry, negative 18, a to the power of 4 times b, and then there's a 6 times 6ab six cubed all over negative 9ab times a squared b squared. Okay. So write that down, press pause and try it yourself and then check the video to make sure you got the right answer. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So, let's see. I feel like dealing with the numbers first. 9 into 9 goes once, 9 to 18 goes twice. So now I have no numbers left on the bottom. I've got a 2, a negative 2 times a 6. Right? So I'm just going to write that down. So negative 2 times 
times 6 would be negative 12 on the bottom and by numbers I still have a negative on the bottom I'm just going to write down negative 1 so I'm just doing it step by step there's lots of there's different ways of, of doing it but you should get the same answer in the end a to the power of 4 means 1 2 3 4 a's then we have a b and then we have a, oh of course a 6 is taken care of because I multiplied it to get the 12 right so then I just have the a and then the b cubed right and now on the bottom I've taken care of the 9 so I have a negative 1 instead of that and then I've got an A times a B then we have an A squared which is just AA A, and a B squared which is just BB right? B times B now we can cross cancel common factors oh sorry I should have shown you that So it's a negative over negative, that means the whole thing is going to be positive, right? Positive something, right? And um, of course, 12 over 1 is 12. So we'll have 12 on the top, we know that much. So let's see, a into a goes once here and here, a into a goes once here and here, a into a goes once here and here. So that's three a's in the top, three a's in the bottom. Any more a's to cross cancel? Remember, you have to cross cancel the top with the bottom, okay? So we've got three A's cross cancelled on the bottom, three on the top, and that's it. Now, what, what I've got left with A's is one, two, we've got two A's left, so that's A squared, right? Now cross cancel B's. Here's a B, here's a B. They're gone. Here's one, here's one. And now one from the top, one from the bottom. So I have no B's left on the bottom. I crossed off three B's on the bottom. And if I look in the top, I've got one B left, okay? So again that the negative signs are taken care of because negative over negative makes plus in fact you could do this if you want plus plus that's correct as well on the bottom I just have a bunch of ones one 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 so again there's different ways of doing it you could have you could have dealt with the numbers differently but anyway whatever happens you should end up with this is a positive so 12a squared b all over one what's a, a simpler way of writing that simpler way of writing that would be just 12 a squared b right so whatever way you do it you should end up with 12 a squared b